Smoke here, Bass Stalker Fishing. The sun's out, temperatures are warming up, the ice is melting off the lakes here in lower New York. Um, I'll probably get out for the first time on big water, probably not this weekend, next weekend because I have to work this weekend, which sucks, but um, we're getting out soon. I want to do a quick video today uh, about something that's new to me in the off season. I switched something up in the off season. Um, last and it's it's storing soft plastics in your boat. Um, last year I did what probably a lot of people do. I had these big Ziploc bags and I would have them labeled and I'd say put all my trick worms in one bag, all my crawls in another bag, all my swim baits in another bag. Um, and what I found was when I had when I was in these tournaments or out fun fishing and I was looking for something, I was sitting there just rustling through my compartment, ripping through bags, trying to find the, the one that has that little label on it. So I wanted to make it a little more organized. I'm a big fan of having, having your stuff organized, especially in the boat. Um, the reason for that is because if I'm quicker about getting soft plastics to rig, like my baits up, the quicker I'm in the water, the more time in the water, the more chances of catching a fish. So if I can, if I can cut that time down that I'm looking for, for baits and translate that into time with my bait in the water, I, I feel that that's going to help me possibly catch more fish. So what I did this season, all my soft plastics are going to be in these flammable boxes. Um, this is my trick worm box. Just to, I have a couple of examples for you. Um, nice and neat. These will hold two packs each. Um, you don't really need two packs. There's a lot of, a lot of worms coming to trick worm thing. But I have it labeled on all five sides. Um, so I'll be able to, and I just slide this right into my, I have one compartment that's really just nothing but soft plastic. And I'll just be able to stack these up next to each other. If I need trick worms, I see it, I see the label, grab it, get the worm, get rigged up, get back in the water. But um, for like so other baits, like drop shots, I don't have as many colors and they're small. So I can use a, a smaller size box, but still labeled. For easy recognition. Um, four inch ochos since those are small or sankos, stick worms. I have those in there in a smaller box and then also my swim bait, my smaller swim baits like uh, my 3.3s or 3.8s I have in a smaller container and that that these hold about two or three packs of the small 3.3s or 3.8s so you can fit a lot in there. Um, the, the only thing that I am going to keep in a bag is my bigger kayak tacks, my 4.3, my 4.8. I will keep them in a bag. Um, the bigger ones I, I want to keep in the plastic protector. So I will have one bag that's strictly for my bigger kayak tacks. But everything else will be in, in those flambo boxes, lined up, labeled so I can get in, get what I need, get back in the water quickly. Hopefully it translate in, translates into more fish and less time searching for baits. But... If you like the channel, subscribe over here, throw me a like, um, thanks for checking us out, hopefully we have an on the water video real soon, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, so take care, we'll see you again soon.